What's up my friends, Lisa here and Pagan Life Daily number 67. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the WHOOP framework because I had somebody request that I walk through it a little bit. So um, the WHOOP framework is not something I've came up with. I actually um, do a coaching session a couple times a week with Danny Southwick from the Growth Day platform and it is a phenomenal coaching session. So if you are looking for a way to achieve your goals, your visions, your dreams, I highly recommend checking that out. It's an awesome uh, 30 minute session. And basically what we walk through in there is the WHOOP framework, which has been um, designed by a couple um, psychologists and um, science, neuroscientists that really studied how um, people, like motivation and um, actually achieving things. And so the process is very simple <clears throat> and the framework is WOOP, W-O-O-P. And it stands for wish, outcome, obstacle, and plan. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna identify what it is, what is your wish? What is the thing that you really want to accomplish? and you get very clear on what that is. And clarity is one of the um, high performance, the first high performance habits. So seeking clarity more often, people that are high performers do this on um, a daily or actually all the time. So um, seeking clarity. So you're gonna say, what is my wish? My wish is I wanna achieve this by this date or I wanna feel this way while doing something or what is it that you really wanna do, really wanna accomplish? Now you're gonna <clears throat> talk about, you're gonna think about what is the outcome? What does that feel like? What, how, like, and you gotta fantasize it, about it a bit. So like really get into what is it that I really, um, like how's it gonna make me feel? Um, how's it gonna affect things? Just really get like really clear and just fantasize about and get the feeling in you of what it feels like when you accomplish that. All right, so, and now, if you're looking at a lot of vision things or a lot of like achievement, you will hear those tactics quite often. Now, the one piece that you won't normally hear is actually uh, what's called mental contrasting. And that is what happens is when you just visualize what you're thinking of and what you wanna do, your brain actually starts to power down because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference from actually achieving um, or just thinking it. So. If you don't actually take the next step, which is the other, the second O, which is your obstacle, and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna think, what is it within me that uh, might prevent me from being able to accomplish this? And if you can get really clear on what it is within you, it has to be something within your, um, within your control. It can't just be an environmental thing. It has to be something that you actually have control over. And when you can figure out what that is and you think about it right after you've thought about what it is that you really want and how that's really gonna feel, then if you can do that, basically what it does is it's going to start to change the meaning that you have towards that obstacle. And so the next time you come across the obstacle, instead of it being, um, something that's really an obstacle, your brain's gonna go, oh, that's the thing that's in the way of me actually achieving it, and you'll have an easier time taking action. So now the final step of this is a plan, and what the P for plan, and there's a specific type of plan that we talk about in this uh, framework, and that is an implementation intention. And basically it's like creating an instant habit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, when, then. It's gonna be a when-then plan. And uh, my coach is always saying, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, I'm not good at follow through, or I don't do, you know, I don't do this very well. And the reality is, he says, you just don't have a good enough plan. So we're gonna put the plan side of this, and that is you're gonna put when-then. So when something happens, then I will do this. Or if something happens, then I will do this. And I like to think about it in an offensive and defensive way. So basically, in the offense of prior to actually having the thing happen. So maybe you're working with like a coworker that like triggers you. When that coworker does this, then I'm going to take a deep breath or you know whatever it is that'll help you um, take action. 
So the other one is if this happens, which is slightly more defensive. If this happens, then I will do this. So if you can actually put this together, you can think of your wish, your outcome, your obstacle, and your plan, I can guarantee you it will actually help you uh, take action and be able to move the needle on your visions. And it actually happens from, instead of a top down, it actually happens from the bottom up because you're actually changing the psychology around those obstacles and what's really getting in your way and how you can overcome them. So for me, this has been uh, monumental and very critical in helping me achieve uh, where I'm at and I still use it on a daily basis. So just, um, yeah, that's the loop framework and if you have any questions, just comment and um, I will definitely make note of that and help you guys out. Hope you're all having a phenomenal Saturday and um, yeah, looking forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. All right, talk to you.